USA! This is very disrespectful in the Arab states. Ron, Ron, Ron has got two no, victories for his He's he, out. He has plenty of time to gain wisdom. Trump or death. Let, let him stay in Florida for a while. Let DeSantis stay in Florida. Trump or death. Over the top, right? This was a group of people dressed in pro-Trump clothing. They were standing in front of Trump Tower in Midtown Manhattan the other day on the night that Donald Trump announced he's running for president again. It's not entirely clear if this is satire or real MAGA faithful. My gut tells me that it is satire. And there are a couple of giveaways. First of all, the guy who's in the red Trump hat who's wearing the Donald Trump neck warmer that's red, he leans into the camera just a little bit too clearly or perfectly and he makes an obscure reference i've never heard any trump supporter make and that is comparing ron DeSantis, the governor of florida to the late saddam hussein watch remember when they did the, the saddam hussein that's the right, statue right, came right, down right, yes. remember when the saddam statue came down hey. he said we my father used to say to me he used to say hold on he used to say son i brought you into this world i can take you out everything Woo! everything DeSantis we're taking him out has. Everything he's got he goes to Trump. It's Trump or death. Again, Trump or death. Um, I've interviewed a lot of Trump supporters, probably 150 over the last year. I've never heard a single one talk about Trump or death. It's just not something that they say. Another giveaway that this is satire is the guy who's wearing the blue Trump hat. I'll check out his sideburns. I don't think those are real sideburns. Um, and listen to his rant about Democratic outgoing House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. He makes an obscure reference to a rather famous event, at least for people who follow Nancy Pelosi, when she was interviewed by the comedian James Corden and Pelosi showed off her freezer full of ice cream. She got a lot of criticism for this because it's during the coronavirus. And Pelosi later admitted that she actually sometimes eats ice cream for breakfast. Most Trump supporters probably wouldn't know that level of detail about Nancy Pelosi, but watch this. I want to send a message. You think Nancy Pelosi might watch this? Well, Nancy, your reign of terror is almost over, and I hope you realize there's no ice cream in hell. And your husband's a cruiser. He cruises for rough trade on Castro this Street. This is the ad to Santa Claus. Put him on a short leash. Now, that nastiness towards Nancy Pelosi's husband and the arguably defamatory statements that have been made about him, statements that have never been proven but are still circulating in right-wing conspiracy websites, and that nastiness is MAGA hatred, and that might have you come down on, well, maybe this is the real thing. Maybe these are real MAGA faithful who simply hate the Democrats. But whether this is real or satire, and I'm still convinced that this is, a, this is satire, this is simply a big joke, this video has become extremely popular. It's gotten more than a million views on Twitter and hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube. It is circulating widely, and again, there is this perception out there that the video reinforces that Trump supporters, MAGA faithful, they are committed to Donald Trump or death and that they are so out there and over the top and absurd and not very sophisticated. The problem though, and while there may be some merit to some of those perceptions, is that I've never, in all my interviews with uh, talking to Trump people, had somebody become that sort of comfortable saying such crazy stuff on camera. Trump supporters that I've spoken with are generally happy fairly polite folks. There's only a few that I've met who are this outspoken. So again, I think this video may speak more about our perceptions and the perceptions in American politics of people we disagree with than the actual reality. But still, that's the weird place that we are in US politics and in media and social media where it's hard to sort of tell sometimes what's true and what's not true. So this is a reminder, approach everything, even as we laugh along with it, approach everything with a very skeptical eye and then sit back and enjoy it. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section.